Father, in the name that is above every other name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want to thank you for speaking over our lives this year. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for lighting your light in our lives. Thank you for helping us this year. Thank you for helping us to overcome and thank you for the gift of salvation. I want to thank you this far you have brought the nation of Kenya. And I want to appreciate you because you have done it for us. As we pray for the nation of Kenya, I want to ask you, Father, to help us even to understand times and seasons. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes in chapter 3, time and seasons happen to us all. And I want to thank you because year 2024, it is our year of peace and joy. Those that are fully connected to me, those that are under this grace, and those that I am their pastor, their prophet, and their mentor. Let your name be glorified and let your name be exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, what a wonderful moment to meet with you on the, uh, in, the, in the media or online. What a wonderful moment to know that January to today, the hand of God has kept us, preserved us. I want to take this opportunity to thank you that have been praying together with me. You that have subscribed. You that have been my follower, you that have been partnering and supporting me 
in this work. This year, may God look at your doing and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are remaining just few weeks or few days to end the year and I want us to take time to appreciate us, to appreciate what God is doing in our lives, to examine ourselves and to tell God thank you because it has been his hand in the name of Jesus Christ. First January, I will tell you the mind of God concerning the nation of Kenya in 2024 and even in five in four years to come during the next election, what God is planning and what God has told us to do by the masses of God. I want us to appreciate God because of what our president said yesterday or on 12th, 12th Jamhuri Day, what he said on Tuesday, what he said that already the debts are paid and what is remaining, it is just more and the nation of Kenya is safe from those that wanted to take over this nation. Glory be to God. Now, as I told you in 2022, that the economy will be very tough for two years, but finally, the grace of God will rest upon every one of us, and this same, same government will bring down what they have lifted up in, the, in our economy to help them clear the bills. Amen. Now, I want us to look at one prayer point, and before I give it to you, I want to give you my number. You can call me, you can send a message to wish me a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You can also choose to do it on the, on the YouTube, and God is going to bless you. This is my number, 0746-553-997. Thank you for partnering with me through this year. And you are saying, woman of God, I want to start partnering with you. I want to be added to your partners every month. I'll be giving you 1,000. I'll be giving you 500. If you are not in any church and you are saying this is your church, please kindly be sending your tithes that I'll be able or I will reach to other people in the nation of Kenya. This is my pay bill number. Send me your 1,000. Send me your 500 every month that I may continue being on air. This is my pay bill number 400222. And my account number, it is 173-9983 hash. Kindly, don't forget to put hash. Some of you are forwarding messages to me, not one, not two, not ten, that they are not able to get into their account. It is hash. You have to put hash. After 83, you have to put hash and send your transactions in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Christmas mood, and I bless God for that. Amen. Now, we are going to look at um, two scriptures. We are going to examine ourselves before we cross over the year. We are going to examine ourselves. How have we been faithful with God? How have we been faithful in our assignment? How have we been faithful in paying our tithes? How have we been faithful to this great commission that you have been following? How, how have we been faithful even in our churches? How have we been faithful in our personal lives, in our marriages, in our lives, day-to-day -day life, in our businesses, and especially concerning the kingdom? Glory be to God. Now, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians in chapter 11, verses 28, how have you been faithful? How have you been faithful? Yes, examine yourself. How have you lived for Jesus? Have you been holy? Yes, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15, the Bible says that we be holy because he who called us is holy. How have you been holy? Have you been committing immorality? Have you been, you know, have you been are beating your spouse? Have you been cheating? Have you killed? Have you aborted? How have you lived your salvation? You as a warrior, as an intercessor, have you been faithful to pray for the nation of Kenya? Remember that how the government entered into power is the same, same way should be sustained. Prayer. Amen. Prayer. Prayer. Now, 1 Corinthians, prayer. 
we don't get to a place and say, oh, God said it, God, you know, prayer. The Lord was speaking to me much. Anyway, prayer. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verses 28. How have you been faithful in your assignment? How have you been faithful in supporting your pastor? Amen. Now, the Bible says in verses 29, For he that eats and drinks unholy or unworthily, eats and drinks domination to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Not discerning the Lord's body. Look at verses 28. The Bible says, But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Let him drink of that cup. Let him drink of that bread. Amen. I trust God that before we end the year, we are going to have Holy Communion and we are going to cross over. We shall have a service for crossing over. Now, the Bible is telling us to examine ourselves. Eating the word of God. Eating, you know, eating bread, drinking the cup. It does not only mean this, but examine yourself. How have you been caring for your spouse, for your children? How have you been serving God? How have you been faithful? If, 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 um, if the book under your name, if that book can, can be brought forward, will God bless you for 2024? Well, are you, are you entitled to enter into the year of peace and rest and joy? Amen. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, the same thing the Bible is talking to us in verses 5. This is what the Bible says in verses 5, 13 and verses 5. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know you not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ in you, except you be, you know, reprobates. Amen. Examine yourself. You know yourself. We are going to ask the Lord, Father, help us. Forgive us, sanctify us, purify us, even as we prepare to cross over the ear and to prepare for Christmas in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, I have read your word. Help us to examine ourselves before the end of the year. Help us to examine ourselves. Help us to examine ourselves as wives, as women, as warriors, as intercessors, as ministers of the gospel, have one flock left that would not have taken care of. Have one business been closed because we have not taken heed to intercede for our members? Have one fallen sick and have not recovered? Have there been miscarriages in our churches? My father, Reko Palatalia Mantebesia, have we opened loopholes for the enemy to attack us? As warriors, have we interceded for the nation of Kenya that the Lord will help us against the handshake? Mandala Bo Shakatia, Reto Prasia Tai Badua, Rente Lepo Zakatabresia, Rika Toka Banta Besa Kadia. Have we interceded for the members of parliament? Have we interceded for our governors? Have we interceded for our members of parliament in our location? Have we prayed, Lord, even for our, our MCAs? Have we prayed, Jehovah God, for our senators, for women representatives? Have we silenced battles in our location? Have we silenced battles in the nation of Kenya? Have we silenced battles in our families? Have we neglected our duty as women, as wives, as husbands, as fathers, as mothers? Reko batala besatia, reko bakatala mantebesia, 
Kote Kete Palatia. Help us and show us mercy, Lord. Help us and show us mercy, Lord. As young people, have we stood for Jesus? Have we defended our Lord Jesus? Haya Koraba Tana Mantebesia Roko Paka Tana Bashata Nabeta. Show us mercy, Jehovah God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. This is a prayer you continue. Examine yourself because I've learned in day out, day in, and as I'm crossing the ear, that there is always one angel that comes when I'm about to cross over and he comes with a book and he checks of what I have done through the ear and have anybody fallen in church, have any business be closed. What has happened that I was supposed to do and I didn't do it, and I lost somebody in church. Amen. Yes, have there been sin in church? Have there been reduction or, or members have left, and I'm left with the fewer? And why? As a wife, how have I been as a minister of the gospel? And as a wife, I'm just giving you personal things so that you can also look at it. We are living in a, in a kingdom, and this kingdom has strategies and has protocols. Amen. Glory be to God. I want us to go to John chapter 3 verse 8. The wind bloweth where at least it pleases. Yes. 2024. We are going to tell the Holy Spirit to help us. Let him operate in a mysterious way in our lives. That God will take us to a dimension that we shall know what is happening around our lives in our surroundings, in our church, yes, in our ministries, in our families. The Bible says the wind bloweth where it at least pleases, yes. Hmm. Amen. We are praying for 2024 and we are also praying for ourselves. You may not understand. Yes, this is when the, the Holy Spirit, you know, enters in you. How can you say you are born again and you don't have the Holy Spirit in you? I see people come to church anytime they want. Why do they come? Because some people, you are not committed in church. You are not committed to your pastor. You are not committed with the works of God. You can commit sin and you will not feel something. Mm -hmm. It is because the Holy Spirit has not entered into you. When the Holy Ghost enters into you, you will, you will go where the Holy Ghost wants you to go. And this is the spirit of revelation. The spirit of revelation chapter 3 john chapter 3 verse 8 this is what my bible says the wind blows where it lists uh -huh. where it lists where it wills and that one also is in ecclesiastics chapter 1 verse 6 we are going to look at it the wind blows where it lists or pleases or wills and you hear the sound thereof listen that the holy spirit does what he wants and you will hear his voice. 2023, you may not have heard his voice, but make a, a, a make a, a, make, I don't know how to, the word is disappeared. Make efforts. Make efforts that 2024, you will hear. You will hear. You may not hear in your ears. Your eardrums must be cleansed. Your spiritual eyes must be, the curtain must be drawn. You tell the Holy Ghost, draw the curtain of revelation that you may see behind the curtain in 2024. Amen. And the Bible says, but cannot tell where from it comes, that you will hear what God is saying, but you do not know where, which direction he's speaking from, but you are hearing. Amen. And the Bible says, and to where it goes, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Listen. When the wind is blowing, you don't know where the wind is blowing from, but you can hear the sound and the voice of the wind, but you will not tell where it is coming from. And the Bible says, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. In other words, you must choose to be mysterious in 2024. If you want to enjoy peace, if you want to enjoy joy, you have to be mysterious. Yes, you have to be mysterious. And how will you be mysterious? It is when the Holy Spirit gives you direction. Don't travel today. Don't go to work today. Go in the afternoon or go in the morning. But in the afternoon, please 
just close your shop. You don't know why. Later you hear somebody say, "Why there was something that, you know, there is always something or even you'll be at home and something will happen and because you are not in the shop you will take your child to the hospital i'm not prophesying evil i'm trying to show you that god can protect us because he wants us to be safe amen maybe you want to get married and you are told mm -mm, it's not this one it is that other one and the one he's telling you to marry is somebody you didn't even want the holy spirit does not look at that he looks at the future yes sometimes we look at their appearance but we don't look at the inner heart. Amen. Listen, the Bible says, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Ecclesiastics 1. So if every, if so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Let the sound be heard, but let nobody know where you are coming from. Yes. 2024 will not be easy, but there will be peace to the righteous. There will be joy to the righteous. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 6. The wind goes towards the south and turns about to the north. It whirls about continually and the wind, the wind returns again according to its circuits. You cannot tell where the wind is coming. 2024, Father, I want to enjoy peace. I want to enjoy joy. Amen. I want to have joy. Let me be mysterious that only me you will talk to to understand my where about and my surrounding shara bo satara beta rentele bo shatia pante pesi kaliata randa la bo shali para pesi manda la bes akatia the wind blows where it is and you hear the sound therefore but cannot tell from where it comes and to where it goes so is everyone that is born of the spirit let your spirit enter us. Let your spirit enter us. Let your spirit enter in the lives of the warriors. Let your spirit enter in the lives of the intercessors. Let your spirit enter into the lives of partners. Financial pillars in the ministries. Financial pillars in our churches. Financial pillars in our families. Let your spirit enter us. Mandala ba soko porua as ministers of the gospel that we shall become mysterious mandala ba zokotobrosia that our enemies will not know our where about that our enemies will not understand our blessings to arrest and to destroy to terminate what you have promised us in 2024 zakatabresia let your spirit enter us let your spirit enter Enter us. Let your spirit enter us. Rekota la ba zoko tua. Rembe zuta leba shanta la badia. We don't want surprises in the kingdom of darkness. We want your presence. We want your leadership. We want your control that we may confront the plans of the enemy against our 2024. That our surprises will be arrested because the wind blows where it desires. Mandala ba zoko we don't want surprises, oh God. We don't want our enemies to surprise us by ambushing our lives, ambushing our businesses, ambushing our 2024, ambushing our children, ambushing our children, ambushing our lives, oh God. Our marriages, our finances, our businesses. 2024, we must enjoy peace. 2024. We must enjoy joy. Ribo shatala banta leba dear. Let us be sensitive in the spirit in 2024. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray one more prayer. You are asking, we are not praying for the nation of Kenya. We are praying for ourselves today. Amen. I want us to ask God that in 2024, He is going to open or to draw the curtain of revelations. Hmm the curtains of revelations i pray that prayer every day oh god open the draw the curtain of revelation when he draws the curtain of revelation you will see what is behind the curtain yes you will see what is behind the curtain if it is darkness then you will deal with darkness 
If it is light, then you will see everything that is around you. Amen. Yes, some of us, we don't have the spirit of revelation. Amen. Jesus operated in revelations. And I'm going to talk them in our Sunday service, but today I'll just give one. Amen. Revelation. Now, let's go to Isaiah. I have only one five minutes. Isaiah chapter 11. Wow. You re- we'll read verse 1, but what I want us to stand with is verse 2. This is the window of revelation. Amen. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Verse 2. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. This is revelation. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon you. When the Spirit of God enters you, revelation is guaranteed. Yes? When you don't have revelation, the Spirit of God is not within you. You can be speaking in tongues, but you don't have the Spirit of God. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. How can you understand when the window is not drawn? The window of revelation. That is why the Bible says that nobody in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, I'll take you there, chapter 9, uh, chapter 2, nobody, let, put your finger there, I don't know, God help me. Listen, I only have, listen, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, listen to what the Bible tells us, oh dear, look at verses 14, the Bible says, Verses 13, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with the spiritual. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Yes, when you are natural, the, the window have not been drawn, the window of revelation. Amen. For they are foolishness to him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually designed. Yes. There are things I will say, like now there are things I know will happen, you know, after five years, during the next election, God has spoken to me. I know what will happen. And when I say some of you will fight, yes, because the, the window of revelation has been drawn to me. I am understanding. And the Bible says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is not judged of any man. Yet you cannot judge a spiritual man. Why can't you not judge a spiritual man? Because we have been told in Isaiah chapter 11, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. Yes, I wish I'm talking on this. And the spirit of knowledge, understanding, knowledge. When the, the, the window of revelation is drawn, then you will have the knowledge. You will know God. You will know what is happening. You will understand. You will have wisdom. Yes, you will have wisdom. You'll have counsel. What to do? Yes, what to do? Amen. And might. Things will start happening. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. And the Bible says, of the Lord and the fear of the Lord. This one, this scripture is speaking about the window being drawn. The window of revelation. This is quite a long thing. Maybe next time I'll teach about delay, long battles stagnation yes limitations lack of revelation this is where now you need revelation the wind of the window of revelation to be drawn so that stagnation delay long battles and limitations and lack of uh, and lack of progression are progressing will be stopped yes look at john chapter 5 as we pray john chapter 5 john chapter 5 today i feel like we have not prayed John chapter 5, verse 6. Look at Jesus. The Bible says, verse 6, this is about the man that was important for that eight years. Nobody helped him. When the angel of the, of the Lord comes to start the water, you know, others went in before him. Go read from verses 1 to verses 6. The Bible says, then Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He says to him, will you be made whole? When Jesus looked at this man, he realized and he knew that he has been impotent and he has been crippled for that eight years. When Jesus solved the problem because of revelation, the man started walking. Amen. We are going to pray for one second. Lord, let draw the window of revelation in my life that I may understand my time and season. Rakota Labada.
Reko taliba shata da badua. Draw the curtain of revelation to my warriors. Draw the curtain of revelation to my intercessors. Draw the curtain of revelation to my viewer, to my followers. Mandala be sakatua. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am asking you to draw the curtain of revelation even to my followers, to the warriors in this nation, to the intercessors, to the ministers of the gospel, that we may deal with the delay, long suffering or long battles, stagnation, limitation, and lack of progress. Help, help us, Lord. And I want to cover the nation of Kenya during this season of Christmas in the blood of Jesus, the government, the president, the deputy president, their families, the governors, the senators, the MPs, the, the women representatives, every one of them, the MCAs, I want to soak them in the blood of Jesus and I pray that there will be peace. I cover the body of Christ in Kenya in the blood of Jesus and I pray that, Father, we are going to cross over well this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, this is my number. Partner with me. I need your 1,000. I need your 500. I want you to tithe into this commission if you don't have a church. And God is going to bless you. 746 993 My account, my pay bill number, it is 400-222. And my account number, it is 173 hash Put hash and forward the transaction and God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hands of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Amen.